Hey guys, what's going on? Zach Hample here at Yankee Stadium and I am extra excited to be here because, first of all, I'm getting inside extra early today with the season ticket holders. My friend slash intern Max is hooking that up. He's holding a place in line. Wait, wait a second. Max, hi. Gotta get him in the video. We'll talk to him more inside. Secondly, the Oakland A's are here and I'm friends with a member of their coaching staff. I think he's gonna be hooking it up for me, maybe throwing me a bunch of baseballs, and all the baseballs that I catch today and for the rest of this season are gonna help raise money for a children's baseball and softball charity to help kids play ball. So I'll talk about that later, but for right now, let's actually go inside and see just how many balls I can snap. Well, it's about 4.50 p.m. right now. The Yankees should have been right in the middle of BP. I am extremely annoyed. Max here says he's even more annoyed than I am. I doubt that. Not that it's a competition, but I think I'm more annoyed. How dare you invite me on a day when the Yankees are not hitting? That's just terrible. How dare you come on a day where the Yankees are not hitting? And also, what's, what's going on with your shirt I don't here? know. Come on, if you're going to be my intern, you got to look professional. Anyway, um... Yeah, the A's, at least they're out there starting to warm up, so they'll start hitting in a bit. But uh, yeah, uh, at this point, I guess my goal is to get double digits, maybe. But hey, it's still fun to be here. But man, this could have been a monster day. Ugh. The magic of Dustin Hughes, the ace bullpen catcher. Let's go hand these out. Can I have one? You already got two. Who didn't get one? Yeah, I, I she didn't, she hasn't got one. I didn't got one. I didn't got one. I didn't got one. Yeah. So check this out. This ball right here says practice on the sweet spot, and this one does not. So just always interesting to note the differences and a lot of the times I hand these baseballs out so fast that I don't even get to see hey one for my intern Max Max let's see it yeah that one also came from Dustin but as I was saying if I catch a ball and hand it over right away I'm not even getting a chance to see the interesting markings on it but not that I'm complaining so I think that was six balls from Dustin and I got two from the Yankees before that, so that's why I was predicting a big day today. So eight total. <laughs> was I saying eight? Sorry, I meant nine. Where'd it go? Oh, 
there. But if you want to keep going. Oh, I, had to be, I had to be richer. Exactly. Hey. So again, this is Dustin Hughes, the A's bullpen catcher, and that whole conversation that we had about Richard Blyer has to do with this video that I filmed last year in Cincinnati. Blyer, also a friend of mine, was then a pitcher on the Marlins, and he wanted to set a record for throwing me the most balls in one day, as you can see Dustin throwing me another. So Blyer threw me nine, and that last ball that you just saw from Dustin Hughes, well that was number 11. So you know, Dustin wanted to help me pad my stats, and he knew that I'd give away all those balls to a whole bunch of kids. And also, by the way, you can see that my sleeves are rolled up here. Well, first of all, that's my 12th ball of the day thrown by Dustin. I'm not trying to show off my arms, you guys. Believe me, I don't have that much to show off. But I was just trying to delay the inevitable farmer's tan that happens every year by getting a little sun on my very pale skin. And so, right after this, I actually got three baseballs that I'm not going to show because they were tossed to me in the seats by stadium employees. So you can see me handing out these three balls. Yes, I do count baseballs like that, but I don't want to encourage people to keep giving me balls like that. So thanks everybody for contributing, but please do me a favor, and with all due respect, stop. <laughs> My numbers are high enough as it is. I don't need assists like that. This is the kind of baseball I want to get coming up here in just a second. A toss-up from a player, Kyle Muller hooking it up. That was my 19th on the day. Gave that ball to a guard named Luis so that he could give it to a kid later on. And even when I wasn't paying attention, baseball still found me. A home run in the seats. I mean, just craziness. Well, that is the end of batting practice today here in the Bronx. And my, oh my, there were a lot of baseballs to go around. I think just about everybody in right field got at least one ball, if not 20 balls, courtesy mainly of Dustin Hughes, who is so friendly. Oh my God, I've gotten him in some other videos hooking me up. He gave me the lineup card last year in Oakland on the day that Shohei Otani hit his 100th career home run. So he just continues to amaze me. I was actually hanging out with him last night after the game in Manhattan for a few hours. And he said he was going to hook it up today and throw me a bunch of balls. but. Man, he threw me a dozen. I wasn't expecting that. So tip of the oversized A's logo cap to him. And listen, as for all these balls, I know it's kind of cheap. The numbers were inflated in ways that I normally don't get them, but I'll take it. And again, it does help charity. Here's how that works. There's a charity called Pitch In for Baseball and Softball. They provide equipment to underserved children and communities all over the world. Kids who basically wouldn't be able to get equipment and play ball and thanks to this charity they are able to. So it's really a great cause. I've been working with this charity since 2009. I've done a lot of fundraisers for them. In 2015, as a lot of you guys know, when I snagged A-Rod's 3,000th hit and I gave A-Rod that ball, the Yankees donated $150,000 to a charity and it was this charity to help kids play ball. So that was a lot of money and it went a long way, but that was years ago and the charity still needs support. So here's what you do. Check the description for this video. You'll find a link there to my fundraiser for this season. And the way it works is you can pledge any amount of money per ball that I catch over the course of the season and that money will really add up. If you want to pledge one penny per ball, that's cool. It'll go to the charity. It'll amount to a few bucks. I'll probably catch like a few hundred baseballs this year. But if you pledge and donate at least 10 cents per ball, you'll be eligible to win one of several cool prizes, including a ball signed by Yankee great Don Mattingly. There's a baseball card signed by Tim Anderson. There's a Wilson A2K glove, Mookie Betts edition. So yeah, pledge 10 cents per ball. So I figure that's probably like 25, 30 bucks. Hey, you're welcome. Um, and yeah, you can win one of these prizes. It'll be a random drawing at the end of the season. So yeah, thanks in advance for your help. Help me help this charity and kids out there. And yeah, right now, I mean, it's a long time till the game starts because the Yankees didn't hit, the A's moved up their BP. So if, if I were a normal fan showing up right now and there was no BP, I'd be pissed, but I'm less pissed today because I got in early and had all kinds of fun. Thank you. Yeah, you got it. Hold on one, hold on one second. Look who I'm chatting with right here. 
Yes. <laughs> Number 21 today. <laughs> and number 13 from Dustin. getting the start for the A's. He's been pitching in Korea for a while, so nice to see him up here in the big leagues. And right now, this game has just gotten underway. So top of the first inning, no action yet. Chilling out here in left field, mainly because I thought it would be nice to be next to the A's bullpen, which is right over there, so that I'm close to Dustin Hughes, so that if he decides that the 15 balls he's thrown me today is not enough, uh, he can keep tossing them over the railings. Oh, that sound means two strikes and two outs. So, uh, yeah, we'll see what this game brings. Strike three.
home runs out here. I don't have a ton of space. No, it's packed the last two nights. It's crazy. Yeah. Well, I think we got to get off the stairs. Yeah. See you later. For the first two and a half innings of this game, the Yankees looked dead. They were losing one to nothing, but then in the bottom of the third, their offense exploded and put up a five spot. And so heading to the fourth right now, they're on top five to one. And uh, I have been inching down closer to the front in this section. My actual ticketed seat is in the second row, but these seats in the front are open. So like, why not show here for a bit? I'm very happy to have seen some long balls in this game. Jordan Diaz for the A's went yard in the top of the fourth. And then bottom five, Glaber Torres left the building. And so, I'm keeping my eye on home plate from deep out here in left field because Aaron Judge is up there. Yeah, so that was my 24th baseball of the day and the 16th from Dustin Hughes. And everybody around me was asking for it, but I was like, I want to give it to a little kid. But I really didn't see any, so I gave it to that dude up in the bleachers, who may have been old enough to drink a beer. But you know what? He was so fired up, and I'm glad that I was able to hook him up with one. And check this out. This home run landing in the bullpen right there. That was Jordan Diaz's third home run of the game. Dustin Hughes picked it up and tossed it to me a little slow-mo because it was just so dramatic or, you know, something like that. But really, it was a cool ball. And I still had a couple left over from BP, so I tossed one to that fan. I was still holding 
the actual home run ball because obviously it was very valuable and I thought I might keep it for myself as you can see lots more balls being thrown into the crowd. And I also thought that, you know what, maybe it's going to turn out that Jordan Diaz wants that ball for himself after all. And guess what? He did. Dustin later asked me for that ball. We don't have a shot of it, but I did toss it back into the bullpen. You can see Clay Holmes right here shutting things down. It was a 10-5 to final. Two home runs for the Yankees, Glaber Torres and Jake Bowers. Three home runs from the A's, all from Jordan Diaz. Look at this. Here's another ball for me thrown by Shintaro Fujinami. Is relief pitcher and I mean the number of balls that were getting thrown up by the A's was just incredible the Orioles are also an extremely generous team but I think the A's have them beat as you can see this ball was snagged by my buddy Aiden Fink in the yellow shirt he is a super fan high five for him by the way Dustin Hughes threw me 17 balls tonight and I still wasn't quite done at this point you can see Dustin here peeling the lineup card off the wall. He had already told me he was going to give it to me, so he pointed me down into the corner spot, and then he handed it to me, so I thanked him quickly, and then read my lips. You're ready for it? Yeah, baby! <laughs> I was so fired up at that point, and I still wasn't done. Look at this. I got yet another ball from bullpen coach Mike McCarthy. It was hard to see. Handed it to that lady from Australia who was at her very first Major League game. So it felt good to hook her up. There we are taking a photo together. And I still had one final ball from BP, handed it to that friendly security guard. And that concluded my time inside the stadium. And now I am back outside the stadium to wrap this up and say goodnight. So first things first, gotta show you this lineup card again. Camera person, please come in close and show the people what this beautiful thing looks like. Oakland Athletics at New York Yankees. I love it. Any lineup card that has Aaron Judge's name on there, that is clearly something special. And guys, I will, in the description for this video, not only share a link to my Pitching for Baseball fundraiser, but I'll throw a link to a page on my website, zachcampbell.com, where I have all the lineup cards that I've gotten over the years. There are dozens of them. So make sure to check that out. And the final baseball tally from today was 27. That is a new Yankee Stadium record. I think that is a new New York City record for me. And I've been to hundreds and hundreds of games here going back to the old stadiums. And so that brings the lifetime total to, hang on, wait for it, wait for it. Got to check my old school page of written notes, 12,000. Oh, this is not funny, people. This is serious. 12,100 and 44. Yeah, so um, that's a whole lot of baseballs. Really crazy. Um, like I said at the start, it's going to be a big baseball numbers day. And then I thought it wasn't, but then it was. So anyway, thank you for watching. And uh, I think that's it. Much love, everybody on YouTube. Mwah. He's lying. He didn't. No, I'm not lying. <laughs> it's not me, Zach Campbell. I'm not Zach Campbell. It's a lie.